Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to upload your app to the App Store. So you have made an awesome app that you want to share with the world, but aren't quite sure how to go about uploading it, then this is the right video for you. I start from scratch, so with zero app, and I go through all the steps that are, that are involved with creating to uploading an app. So if that is something you want to know how to do, just keep watching this video and I will show you how step by step. So in order for this to be completely from scratch, I'm going to start by creating a new Xcode project. And it's going to be a single view application to make things easy. And my app is going to be an app that reminds people to drink water. Of course, I'm not going to make the whole application, but I'm just going to pretend that that's my app. So I'm going to call it water reminder and I'm going to make it going to make it in one word because this will be easier when we later have to refer back to our bundle identifier as you see you also need to add a team or a person that's responsible for this app and if nothing is showing up here you can just go to Xcode then preferences and accounts and just add an account here and add the Apple ID that corresponds to your developer ID. So you will be able to add this here, then add your organization name, and then for the bundle identifier, I would suggest that you take your website. So if it's uh, for me, magnumium.com, I just say com.magnumium, and then dot, and then this is going to be your bundle identifier. Then click next, save it, I'm just going to save it and um, this is our app. Now this is going to be an incredibly simple app uh, so just that we have something to show when we take a screenshot I'm just going to drag in a label into my storyboard so this is going to say drink water. So this is my app and I'm going to center it in the container here we go. Now this is all I am going to do in terms of my app. Now I have to make sure that everything is set up. As you saw here, if you weren't able to add it um, when setting up the file, you can do it here, just add a team. And then you also have to take this bundle identifier, copy it, go to the info.plist, and then copy it here and paste it into the bundle identifier so that everything is set up properly. Now I'm just going to save this. We now have our app and the next step now is going to be to add some icons because without the icons we can't upload the app, we will get an error. So that is what we're going to do now. And I'm using a program called Sketch. You use whatever you want to really. And um, Apple requires that you upload at 20, at 10, 24 by 1024 app icon on iTunes Connect. So just make it that size and then design, make a pretty design. I'm just going to call it water reminder. So this is my app icon. Now I'm just going to export it. See icon, export the file. And I'm just going to save it on my desktop and close this program. Don't save. And as you will see, if we now go to our app icons, you will see that we require different sizes. So this is only an app for the iPhone. So we only require these, but as you can see, they're in different sizes. So we can't just upload our 20, 1024 by 1024 icon that won't work. So what I would encourage you to do is go on Google and say Icon Maker. And you will be presented with a site. Okay, not, not that one. Let's see, app. We're not going to read about David Canfield Smith, but we are going to visit this website right here. And this website does an awesome job with uh, uh, converting your app icon into the different sizes that you need for your project. So just 
put it through this website here and then you'll be able to receive it by mail. So I received an email and this is what I got, a zipped file. So I'm just going to open it and you will have all the icons that you need inside this folder. So as you can see, here you see the different dimensions and here you see the dimension that you need. So two by 20 pixels. So we're going to find that one, two by 20, this one. Then we need three. And here we have added all the app icons that we need. So now we're just going to make sure that we click on save. And now pretty much our app is set up to be exported to uh, the app store or first iTunes Connect. But before we can do that, we have to set something up in the developer portal. So that's where we're heading over now. So just open Safari and then go to developer.apple.com. Then click on account and then sign in to your developer profile. Then go to certificates, IDs and profiles. Go to app IDs and now we're going to create a new app ID for our app. Now our app name was, uh, my app name was Water Reminder. Now here bundle ID, you want to be exact. You want to have the exact name that you gave your app. So just head over to Xcode, copy that and paste it right in here so that you have no errors because else this won't work. And then just, you just cross the things that you need. Right now we, we don't need all that stuff. So I'm just going to click continue. I have everything, yes, border reminder, good. Continue. And uh, that's all we need right now, the register. Make sure that you do that and then click done. Now this is our ID for our app, but now we also need a prov provisioning profile. So the rights to distribute this app. So we head over there and then click add. Then we want a distribution profile and then we want to distribute it on the app store. So we click on app store and click continue. And then you select the ID that we just created, which was water reminder in my case. Then click continue, select the developer, and then continue once more. Profile name, this is just going to be, call it whatever you want, but probably you should be able to, or it would be a good idea to call it your app name. So water reminder, I'm just going to click continue. And now we're all set up with the provisioning profiles and all that good stuff. So now we're going to head over to iTunes, connect.apple.com, where we do all the uploading stuff of our apps. Here you can also see sales and trends, which is exciting to watch when you have an app published. But now we are going to head over to my apps and we are going to create a new app, new app. And the name is going to be what you want it to be displayed as, so wa uh, water reminder. Hopefully this isn't taken. It's going to be in English. The bundle ID was the one that we just created, so water reminder. And then SKU is uh, just something so that, what does Apple say to it? A unique ID. So this can be whatever you want to, but I'm just going to say water reminder uh, dot my app really doesn't matter as long as it isn't taken so just create that click on create okay so the apple name app name was taken so i'm just going to add some numbers to it so that it isn't taken hopefully someone hasn't made an app with that name okay now we're in now we can set up our app but now what we want to do so that it's ready for us when we need it is to submit our build so that we can select it here, our, our app, not just a file and a cool name, but we actually need an app that goes along with it. So we head over to Xcode, you click on a generic iOS device in order for you to be able to, to archive it. You click on product and then archive. And this will just create your app and save your app so that we can upload it to iTunes Connect, which is the next step. So here we are, here is our current build and now we first want to validate it. So click on validate and then click select your developer. In case that's me, 
but uh, of course that name is going to vary and then we're just going to wait wait for it to validate click on validate it is now done validating and as you can see the validation was successful which is great news now we can click on done and now we're going to do the old decisive step which is fun if you have spent a long time creating this app to finally upload it to the app store so click on upload to app store choose your developer once again and then click upload upload successful which is great to see every time which means there wasn't there weren't any errors so now you can successfully click on done and now everything we're going to do from now on is only going to happen inside iTunes Connect. So it's often going to take some minutes before it appears here, so just ignore that for now. And then we can spend the meantime uh, filling out the other stuff. So here is our description. Water and app that rem reminds you to drink water. Exclamation mark, always good. Then water reminder these are the keywords that your app is going to more or less rank for so if you write in water then when people search for water your app is going to rank higher than if you wouldn't have that keyword so make sure that you use your keywords wisely water reminder are the keywords that i'm going to use here you can add a support url a marketing url for your site you should probably have a support url but the marketing url isn't that important um, then we're going to choose the app icon. This is the icon that's going to be 1024 uh, by 1024. So the one we created initially, just upload this one. And while that is uploading, we are going to write in the person or the company that has copyright. So in my case, that's going to be me, Sebastian. Um, fill in all the information. I'm not going to fill that all out right now but just fill out this then uh, continue down and here you have to write in the contact information of the person that is responsible if uh, let's say iTunes the people working there have some questions about your app then this is the person that they're going to contact so Peter Peterson uh, phone number is something uh, email is also going to be something then if your account requires um, or your app requires an account in order to use all the features you're going to include a free account for the tester which we don't need and here we have some more options about when the app should be released we have our icon everything looks great now we need some screenshots and the great thing now is that apple only requires you to have a screenshot of a 5.5 inch display and it will then use that screenshot on all device sizes so that is something that we forgot uh, some seconds ago so we're going to head over to xcode again and launch it on an iphone 6s plus simulator so 5.5 inch display and then we are going to launch that and we are going to take a screenshot that we then can upload to iTunes Connect. So here is my awesome screenshot, which of course will compel people to buy my app. And then I'm heading back over to this and I'm adding a screenshot. So just choose file and then this screenshot right here, which should already have the right dimensions because it's an iPhone 6S simulator and it just tells me that it will use that image for all device sizes unless you specify something else then we're going to click on save as you can see i had to fill out that information in order to be able to save it and then as you see now this text has appeared select a build before you submit your app so click on that and you will see the build that we just uh, uploaded to the itunes store as you see it's still processing but so we have to wait a bit before we can add it but in a second or two this will be we will be able to add this application to our application so now our app is done processing and as you can see we can now select it and then click on done and two last things that we need is we need to have a rating for our app so we need to cross off on all these 
just to let Apple know that uh, or which age group this or our app is suited for but our app doesn't contain any violence so we're just going to click on no on everyone and then we're going to click on save we're now done setting everything up right here but there's a one last thing that I want to show you which is a pretty important one so now that our app is all set up there's only one thing that is remaining and that is pricing and availability here you can choose your price how much your app is going to cost now knock doesn't say too much but um, you will have your numbers displayed in your currency but I'm just going to let this app be free I'm going to click on save which is the last step I am going to take before I finally do submit my app now everything that is remaining is clicking on submit for review but I'm not going to do that because my app isn't going to be accepted but now everything is set up properly so that you can click on this button and get your app uh, reviewed by iTunes. Now if you enjoyed this video make sure that you click the subscribe button so that you stay tuned for my future Swift tutorial videos. Also, thank you for watching and I hope to see you back in the next one.